The C2X, or Cube 2X, is a petite panoramic palace from the tiny house fabricating company of Nestron. However, compared to the other small living spaces from Nestron, the C2X has quite a bit of space, with enough French windows to allow plenty of natural light to flood in and plenty of outdoor viewing space. In fact, the C2X is a direct improvement over the Cube 2, adding 30% more space for a total of 377 square feet of living space. If you're interested in seeing a much larger floating pyramid house, then check out the Waya Floating Building by clicking the card in the top right corner or the link in the description. Keep in mind that this is a foundationless smart home, so areas expecting regular earthquakes or hurricanes be notified. Although Nestron says they did design the C2X while thinking about those factors and offer customized fortification. And if that still concerns you, the C2X comes with a 50-year structural warranty, so they seem confident in the product. I just called this a smart home. Now what does that mean exactly? Well, in short, that means there is some amount of home automation present. And with the C2X, that automation comes in the form of digital locks, electric blinds, motion sensing lights, and a digital music player. Of course, a slew of optional smart add-ons is available, like mirrors, wall-mounted tablets, some kitchen appliances, even the toilet is smart. You can even get intelligent sliding glass doors, furniture, and structural elements. A bountiful display of smart choice. All smart additions to the house can be linked to your Google Home or Amazon Alexa for ease of use. Nestron is also currently working on its own AI system to complete the whole smart home bundle with a nice bow. They call it Canny. In addition to being intelligent, the C2X is also eco-friendly. Nestron says that 90% of the materials used in these little domiciles can be recycled at the end of their life cycle. Now that is pretty smart. Smart, eco-friendly, and also self-sustaining. The company offers solar or battery systems for the cube homes if you're looking to live off-grid. Or you can hook up to local sewer, water, gas, or electrical, so you can choose to live just about anywhere. We're looking at a 32.8-foot width, a 10.2-foot height, and an 11.5-foot depth with the structure. That doesn't seem like too much, but the floor-to-ceiling window and long landscape window open up the place nicely and the double-leaf doors allow enough space for larger objects or furniture to be easily moved into or out of the house. Let's take a look at those layouts now. There are two to choose from, a one or two bedroom floor plan. Aside from the obvious, the two bedroom option sacrifices the curved skylight window that the one bedroom has. If you're interested in a camper layout that transforms, check out the Romoto by clicking the card in the top right or one of the links in the description. The secondary bedroom has a storage bed with mattress shelves, shelves, and a wardrobe. That's where most of the differences end, however. Both are accompanied by a living room with a sofa bed, pillows, and storage cabinets. Both also have a small kitchen with a dining area and options for a double-door refrigerator, invisible induction cooktop, and washing machine. And they both also have bathrooms with showers, toilets, water heaters, etc. That's all included with the purchase of the base package. If you want more, options for in-floor heating, a projection entertainment center, a mechanical electrical closet organizer, and more are available for additional purchase. If you think that is a lot of options, then you should see the dock arenas that Nautilus will build for their iHome. You can check it out by clicking the card in the top right or the link in the description.
So without including any extra add-ons or options throughout one of these 18,000 pound C2X homes, the price tag comes out to about $98,000 and they are delivering them worldwide. While that is significantly cheaper than the average home in America, you will find the size discrepancy a little vast, which may or may not be a good thing depending on who you are.